of the lungs to provide fast and targeted drug delivery. Successful inhalation drug delivery depends on particle size, lung deposition, and patient breathing pattern. Formulations can be prepared to target specific cells in the respiratory tract by modifying the size or charge of the inhalable particles. Implantable drug delivery. Implantable drug delivery involves the surgical placement of a device that delivers medication over time directly to the target site. Implantable devices are used for localized drug delivery to treat conditions such as cancer, chronic pain, and movement disorders. There are several types of implantable drug delivery systems, including pumps, reservoirs, and devices that use biodegradable polymers to deliver the drug over an extended period. You and stay within the target site, reducing the likelihood of systemic side effects. Targeted drug delivery. Targeted drug delivery involves using different drug delivery systems to target the medication to a specific cell, tissue, or organ. This type of drug delivery system can help increase drug efficacy while reducing associated side effects. Targeted drug delivery methods include antibodies, drug conjugates, liposomes, and nanoparticles tailored to bind to specific cell surface receptors. The selective binding of these drug delivery systems is designed to increase the drug's bioavailability at the target site while sparing healthy surrounding cells. Intranasal drug delivery. Intranasal drug delivery is a method of delivering drugs through the nasal passages where they are absorbed and delivered to the bloodstream. The nasal cavity has a rich blood supply and extensive surface area for absorption, making it an ideal route of administration for some molecules. Intranasal drugs can be in the form of sprays, drops or powders and have a fast onset of action. They are commonly used for migraine headaches, allergic rhinitis and central nervous system disorders. Research is also underway to explore the use of intranasal delivery for vaccines and anti-inflammatory drugs. Ocular drug delivery. Ocular drug delivery involves the delivery of drugs to the eye to treat disorders of the eye. Treatment of ocular conditions such as glaucoma, macular degeneration, and infections typically requires drugs to be delivered to the front or the back of the eye. Ocular drug delivery can be challenging because of the presence of protective barriers such as the cornea and the blood retina barrier. Intravitreal injection, subconjunctival injection, topical eye drops, and transcleral drug delivery are some of the methods used to deliver drugs to the eye. Mucoadhesive drug delivery. Mucoadhesive drug delivery systems adhere to the mucous membranes, prolonging the residence time and enhancing the absorption of the drug. Mucoadhesive drug delivery systems can improve drug delivery to specific sites where conventional drug delivery methods are ineffective. They also provide sustained, controlled release of the drug, reducing the frequency of dosing. Hydrogel drug delivery. Hydrogel drug delivery involves the delivery of drugs using hydrogel formulations. Hydrogels are three-dimensional, cross-linked polymeric networks that can hold large amounts of water or biological fluids. The high water content of hydrogels makes them highly biocompatible and suitable for use in drug delivery. Hydrogel drug delivery systems can be used to deliver drugs to the skin, eye, nasal cavity, oral cavity, and gastrointestinal tract. Hydrogel drug delivery systems can respond to stimuli such as temperature, pH, and enzyme concentration, allowing for controlled drug release. Buckle drug delivery. 
Buccal drug delivery is a method of drug delivery that involves placing medication in the mouth between the cheek and gum. Buccal drug delivery can have advantages over oral delivery by bypassing the liver and digestive system and allowing the drug to be absorbed directly into the bloodstream through the oral mucosa.